Hey everyone, this video has been requested so many times over the years and I figured now is the best time to do it. I've been switching things around, pulling out some of the fragrances I haven't used very often now that the seasons are changing and I'm also thinking about possible Mother's Day gifts and I'm also thinking about the sales that are coming up. And if you look in the description box, I've listed all the notes and, and fragrance notes I'm talking about in this for each scent and also links to a variety of places that you can get it so you can find the best option for you and your rewards program and what have you. I have written out, printed out all the research I can do. I am not great at describing fragrance at all. So I'm gonna do my best and ahead of time, I will be mispronouncing things. I'm just gonna put it out there. It is what it is. And finally, one more thing. If you like this, I will list of course the products I used at the bottom of the description box, but if you wanna see the video of me putting it on, I made one and put it on Instagram, on IGTV, and I'll put that link over there and also down in the description box. So if you wanna see that, I thought, let's try a new medium. I'm trying out IGTV. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. So go over there, say hi, let me know you came over from YouTube if you're new over there. I will start with my ultimate favorite. This was the Hermes Amber Nargile Eau de Toilette. But do not feel badly for me because I have many, 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 many very large size samples of it, there's more than this, that I will be putting into some sort of atomizer. So I'm okay for a little while. So this is, I have repurchased over and over and over again. You can only purchase it either at an Hermes boutique or through the Hermes website, nowhere else. Other Hermes fragrances you can, but not this one. It's part of their Hermesense line and it is described as blends of honey and amber with a swirl of the Orient. I would describe it as that, but also like hot buttered rum, even though there's no rum in this. It's just a sweet, spicy, warm scent. It's great for evening and it's great for fall winter. I'm not really reaching for it right now because it's a, it's, it's a lot. But every time I wear this, random people will start leaning in and smelling me. So in these times, maybe I don't wanna wear that. Like back off. I will say it is very pricey, but there is the option of getting a smaller travel set of four vials for about $100 less than, well, maybe not 100, more like $80 less than the big guy there. And if you really wanna be spendy, there's an even better, bigger bottle, not better, but bigger bottle of this if you've absolutely lost your mind. Next, let's talk about this guy. Very little bottle. This was actually part of a set that I got over the holidays, but I have owned the larger standalone version of this. It's the Laura Mercier Amber Vanille. The notes on that are described as, here we go, tangerine, coconut, almond, tiger orchid, milk flower. What is a milk flower? Heliotrope, amber, vanilla bean, brown sugar, and sandalwood. All of those things. It has that amber and vanilla are the strongest notes, so it's really well named. Um, but compared to the to the Big Daddy, this one, which introduced me to Amber, um, this is much sweeter, much lighter, much more appropriate for everyday year-round use. If you're looking for that one, it is currently only available that I could find on Nordstrom. And let me actually back up. I did find some of these scents available at other locations, but I'm not comfortable recommending that you purchase from those locations, either one, because I personally have never shopped there, so I don't know what it's like buying anything there, or, I'm not sure about the veracity of the product that you are purchasing. So I'm only linking to retailers I have personally shopped at and, and trust. Next, this was a gift, a very generous gift um, from my brother-in-law. It is this guy. This is the Tiffany & Company Eau de Parfum. And honestly, even if I hated the fragrance, I would keep it just for the bottle. I mean, look at that. And it is supposed to, the bottle itself is supposed to be reminiscent of some iconic Tiffany piece of jewelry, but I, I don't remember what it is. It is described as a floral musk fragrance, and the scents, here we go with the mispronunciation, I can't even pronounce mispronunciation. All right, Vert de Mandarin, so I assume it, it's like green mandarin, I don't know. Blue Iris, Musk's Cocktail, and Patchouli. So I think you get sort of a repetitive theme here. I like warm scents. I do like a little floral. It is a very light fragrance as compared to the other two. I really don't smell amber in this at all because it doesn't list it, but it's not a sweet floral. It's a very grown up scent. I think it's beautiful. I love it. I wear it a lot during the day. 
Next is this guy, Aaron Amber Musk. You can see there's not a lot used up in this one, although the bottle is beautiful. And it is described in the Oriental, Woody, and Amber family. And the main notes or scents are magnolia leaves, coconut water. I don't know what this next one is. I could have Googled it, but I didn't. Mug Muguet? Mug M-U-G-U-E-T. What, what is that? I don't know. Rose, Ambrox. Again, what is Ambrox? Benzoin, praline, sandalwood, and musk. As amber scents go, this is probably my least favorite. It's the freshest amber scent, so if you like fresh, clean, but you want a little bit of that amber, I guess you would like this. To me, it smells too clean, almost like soap. So I don't love it. I don't know why I've kept it, probably just because, look, isn't it pretty? I mean, it's pretty. It's got that nice stone on top, whatever. Okay, sticking with Erin, this is a little bit cheating because I've hoarded this for so long. I got this sample spray size of the Erin Lilac Path, and I do love this. I really should just go out and buy the main one. It is described as delicate and evocative, and it has galbanum, lilac, jasmine, angelica seed oil, and orange flower. And if you love lilac, you will love this. Unlike the amber musk, which I don't, I don't really care for. But I'm gonna describe it to you because maybe it's exactly what you like. This is just springtime in a tiny little bottle, and I love it. It also reminds me of the lilacs where I grew up. I live in San Antonio. I grew up in the Chicago area. We don't have lilacs down here, so I don't get to smell them. All right, next, I'm gonna be perfectly honest. The only reason I still have this very old bottle is because look at how pretty it is. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? Crystal bow on top. There we go. This is the Kate Spade Live Colorfully. It's described as sparkling and whimsical. Mandarin, pink water lily, star anise, gardenia, tiari flower. I don't know what that is, but you're gonna hear that a lot in the next few fragrances, so it must be something I like. Coconut water, sheer amber, musk, and Tahitian vanilla. Again, it's sweet and floral, two things that if you do not care for, you will hate this, but if you love those things, I think it is beautiful. It's a beautiful scent, it's a beautiful package. I just talked about this in my Nordstrom video. This is the Jo Malone Peony and Blush Suede. I have to smell them all. Okay, this is for sure floral. It's described as the notes are red apple, peony, suede, but also rose and honey. I will say this, the Jo Malone scents are built for layering and I do like this size versus the bigger size because even this is expensive for just this small thing. They don't last very long on me. They're beautiful and I've gone through a few bottles of various scents, but it's a good thing I have it in this size because it's definitely one of those scents that for me, I have to take with me if I wanna still smell like this throughout the day. Their fragrances are so unique that I still keep buying it. I mean, I've never been gifted any Jo Malone and I still keep purchasing it, so what can I say? Next, we have this guy. I've had this for quite a long time. I think I actually got it at a Sephora uh, one of their sale events, and it's no longer, I can't find it at Sephora. It's the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Bourbon. It's described as warm and spicy. There's almost nothing left in this. It has vanilla bourbon, oak wood, and tuberose scents in it. Again, a scent that didn't last as long on me as I would have liked it to be, but um, if I could find it in a rollerball, I would love that because it's a scent I would want to put on throughout the day. Next, I love this. Okay, this is summer in a bottle. Look at that reflection. Whoa, this is the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Eau de Fresh Skin Scent. Now it does come in a toilette, a perfume, but I got the least expensive option. Uh, it's described as warm, and this is an older bottle. Every year they come out with a new bottle. I can't remember what year this is. Someone will tell me and tell me my perfume's too old, but that's okay. It's described as a warm, sexy floral, and it has, hang on, this is an essay, amber, coconut milk, sandalwood, vanilla, Vetiver, juicy mandarin, as opposed to dried up mandarin. Bergamot, lemon, orange, that tiara flower again. Jasmine, magnolia, orange flower, and lavender. Woo! I don't know. It just, to me, smells like summer. Kind of like, I don't want to say it smells like suntan lotion. That sounds terrible. But it does bring that memory of suntan lotion to the forefront of my brain. So I wish I could buy a new bottle every year just to buy the bottle because every year they come out with a really cool one, but this one has been my favorite. I mean, come on, right? Anyway, I'm a sucker for shiny objects. And the last actual bottle I have is teeny tiny and I cannot find this thing anywhere on the internet that I would recommend purchasing it. 
but it's the, uh, I, I know a lot of boutiques, like local boutiques carry it. So maybe you can search your local boutique websites where you are, or when we get freed from quarantine, you can go patronize one of them and Anyway, this one is dark. This is actually described as unisex and these scents are dark vanilla bean, orchid, white tea, and sandalwood. So if you can find it or you like it, let me know. So those are the actual bottles of things that I own. But then I also have a few rollerballs, purse sprays that I keep in an old, I think this is an old nest candle. Yep. It's an old nest candle. It's actually the Moroccan amber candle, one of my old favorites. Okay, so let's talk not about every one of them, but um, this one is probably, this one is really hard to find as well. I could only find it on the Pacifica Beauty website. And I love this one. This is the Pacifica Sugared Amber Dreams Rollerball, and it is exactly what it says it is. It is sugar, vanilla, and warm amber. Super sweet, amber scent, 12 bucks telling you if you can order it from the site. They used to have it at Target. They don't have it at Target anymore. Also from Pacifica, this is easy to find. I don't know why. This is their French lilac. Um, it has lilac, magnolia, heliotrope. I don't know how to say this. Y'all always tell me how and I forget. Alangalang, hyacinth, and nectarine. I found this at Ulta and the Pacifica website. This smells actually a lot like, hang on. I'm comparing the Aran Lilac Path and the Pacifica. Obviously there's a price difference. The Lilac is much stronger in the Aran, but this is a pretty, you know, $12. You cannot go wrong with that. And then we have another favorite. I am almost down to the end of this rollerball. I cannot find this rollerball. I found the big jar, big jar, the big bottle, there we go, of it. Um, but I think this is a seasonal offering in the rollerball. There is a gold number nine version of this. I don't know if it's the same or not, so I'm not gonna link to it. This is from Trish McAvoy. It's called their nine blackberry and vanilla musk eau de parfum. It's described as spicy, sweet, warm. Those are the categories I like, ticked every box. And it says it has blackberry buds, dark plum, mandarin, tiari flower, osmanthus, cashmere woods, vanilla musk, and white rose. And it's beautiful. Oh, you know what? They're, I think they have a fig one that's even more popular, but I like the blackberry and vanilla. I am literally down to like, it's about to evaporate. This, I used to have the big bottle, then I had smaller bottles, now I'm down to a rollerball. It is the Nest Midnight Fleur. It's described as sensual. And it has exotic woods, black amber, patchouli, jasmine, and vanilla orchid. It's all those things. And it's beautiful and it's much more budget friendly than pretty much everything else I've described. So if you want to try anything I've talked about, maybe start with the Midnight Floor because it's fabulous. And then the last one I don't even want to talk about because I can't find it anywhere, but it's Commodity Velvet. And I remember talking about this in a video and telling y'all how much I like it. And again, this is this could be unisex for sure. And it's described as a woodsy oriental with, get this one, roasted almond, rose, black amber, and vanilla. There is definitely some underlying scents that I go for. I don't wanna say it's heavy, but it is similar in, I almost wanna say weight to this. So this is best reserved, I think, for colder times of year and evenings. If you can find it somewhere that you trust, let me know and I will put the word out. It's a great little scent. Now, I do have a few on my wish list. The first one is the Carolina Herrera Good Girl fragrance. First of all, the bottle. I mean, I think everybody needs a high heel shaped fragrance. I think it's cool. Okay, but the scent, again, it's described as warm florals, tuberose, jasmine, tonka bean, cocoa, almond, and coffee. It's a really good price point, and it's probably gonna be the next fragrance that I do purchase. I do have quite a few others I should probably get through. That is one reason why I honestly haven't purchased more because this is a little ridiculous. How many scents does one person need? Okay, next is Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. And the reason I haven't purchased this is because I haven't lost my mind. The least expensive version I could find is $335, and even if I was still a VIB Rouge, which I am not, and could get it for 20% off, that's really not helpful. So I am waiting for, I mean, I will spend $200 on this guy, but that's my limit. I have to draw the line somewhere. I'm waiting for like a rollerball version of that because it's beautiful. It's described as black cherry, bitter almond. I don't know what this is, garrot syrup? Rose Absolute Peru Balsam, Roasted Tonka, Jasmine, Sandalwood, Vetiver, and Cedar. I actually have, I have it. The 
Tom Ford, sales assistant at uh, the Nordstrom La Cantera, gave me a pretty generous amount and I literally rationed this out. It's not for everyone. It's, there is a cherry scent to it, which I know sounds bizarre, but layered with all that other stuff, it goes into the warm, sexy, florally scent category that I love. But $335? No. And then lastly, uh, also don't have this, and I don't know why I haven't bought this before. I guess probably because I'm a little overwhelmed by everything I already have, is the YSL Black Opium. It was an Allure Award winner back in maybe 2015, I think I remember seeing it. It's described as warm gourmand is the category. And it's coffee, white flowers, and vanilla. Again, warm, spicy, sexy, probably not great for this time of year. I'm inserting a picture of what's happening just outside camera range so you understand what you just heard. That is what's in my current collection and a few things that eventually will be in my collection. I should say the top of the list is gonna be another bottle of this. This was a big splurge mm, two or three years ago now and it's lasted me that long and I use it all the time. So honestly, when I'm able, I'm gonna order another one of those. But hopefully this was helpful to you. I know a lot of you have been curious about what I like to wear, so there you have it. Please share your recommendations and your favorite places to shop for scent if it is not Nordstrom, Sephora, or Ulta, because that's where I linked it. Um, I'd love to know more. As always, thank you to everyone who's watching and taking time out of their day. I hope I'm helping to break up the monotony of being with the same people every single day, all day, every day. And uh, I am really, really happy that you are here. Again, don't forget, check all this out over on Instagram, on IGTV. Stay safe, stay healthy. I will see you hopefully on Friday. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.